Hello, GTFR TV. I'm Turkey Dirk, and it's time for Cross Out News. It is June 2019. I'm with my friend Cold Fire Games. Hey guys. All right, so here's what's new. We're just gonna blast through this. So first of all, uh, adventure mode looks like we're having another call. See him. Anything to say about adventure mode, my friend? Yeah, uh, I don't like it. So whatever. <laughs> all right, so I think it's about time that engraved casings became tradable. And then oh, yeah, maybe we can get something started with adventure mode, make it worth it, maybe. And I've been saying this for ages, adventure mode, those missions really should have some more materials, some more rewards, and then we'll stop playing PvP. And that's all I want to say about that. Maps, I was excited about that. We worked map, but then I realized, oh, it's not Rock City. It's Control 17 Station. Yeah, why did it, why did they have to change it? I it's have perfect. no freaking idea. Control 17 station is great map. Man. It's cool. It's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with and it. And I look at it. I had the, the test server. It now it's completely crap. It's flat. Doesn't have any depression. Huh. So here's a big one. Decor. Everyone's talking about that. Decor. Blah blah blah. So first of all, they're not dealing with that angle. I was almost gonna suggest just do a diagonal build and come in diagonally. <laughs> <laughs> so that you would yeah. uh, definitely be blocked. So that's not a thing anymore. And no. there's a lot of talk about projectile, blah, blah, blah. It seemed like with this patch, it was almost even worse because you can stick a really small, low HP structural bit and put a big exactly. and put a big mammoth balloon on top of that. So it shoots the mammoth, but then it just you all you lose is one tiny little bit that's attached to. Yeah. It seems to Apparently be the same. how they fix it, I guess. Did they really? It seems like it's the same to me. Explosion will occur after contact with structural part located behind the decor along the projectile flight path. Along the projectile flight path. Hmm. The, the, the parts need to be aligned to the projectile. Okay. You know? That's going to be going to take some testing, my friend, and you are the man to do it. Oh, yeah. All right. So raids in general, um, I would say the least of my troubles is someone not doing anything in raid, like just sitting there. I mean, my problem with raids is people actually thinking they're doing something and they're idiots. But you don't play raids anyway, right? So. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, raids just suck, man. They just—they're always gonna suck. Bastion cabins. So yeah, there's I guess some some skills that were missing with these uh, these cabs. So that seems exactly. pretty self-explanatory. So they fixed the bastion. They fixed the photon. They fixed Cerberus. Now works with Tormentor. That makes me interested all of a sudden. Yeah, th that's weird if you ask me because yeah. it should have been working since day zero, I guess. Should have, but then again, there was always this issue: is it a weapon? Is it a cab? What it, what do these things mean? Uh, oh yeah. So oh, I okay. guess you can kind of play on the words, but this looks pretty interesting. I kind of think that's. I'd like to see Cerebus be a little bit more viable. I've I've never had it, but I've always been interested. Now here is the huge one: Step Spider. So this is a nerf that's not really a nerf. People are going crazy. They're selling their spiders. The the mm, price is I going sold down. Mine. Really, you did? No, I, yeah, I sold mine. It is not a nerf per se. It's no. more it's more a buff for the other caps. Exactly. It. So it is exactly the same. The only difference yeah, is the other caps is exactly the same. So why sell it? It's still a a heavy medium cab, so to speak. Yeah. It's the but same I speed. I sold mine because you want porcupines. I need them. Yeah, I need the, I need the money. Also, because now there are more viable options like the Bastion, for example, sure. or even maybe the Icebox. Right. Consider you're using tsunamis. Mm -hmm. Well, 15% more damage is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, with a nice box cab uh, on, on legs, now you can make 40 kilometers per hour, mm -hmm. which is not too bad. Absolutely. If you consider that 15% uh, more damage is a lot of damage. Absolutely. I totally get that you wanted to sell it and you wanted porcupines, but I still don't mm -hmm. think that Step Spider... I mean, I guess you guys are selling it. Price is going... It's about time the price went down in general, but I still don't really think that... It's not a nerf like people say. It's not. It's the same speed. No, so it's, it's just it's, it's just that other cabs can use like Legs are going to be tremendous. I would say craft or buy some legs now and then just sell them for a lot more i would imagine what do yeah, you think that, that could be a good idea legs will get more expensive i'm sure now all these cannons can now be rotated yeah which, just like the elephant just like the elephant personally Sideways, under mount yeah now i don't really know what to think about this man honestly i don't know because aesthetically i've always been okay with these cannons not being able to rotate you know, it, it's a limitation. It just made you be more creative with how you use them. 
and I don't really see a lot of advantage of sideways cannons. Now they're yeah. pretty much now they're stationary if they're sideways. But undermounted gives some more possibilities, but maybe too much. I don't really know. I think it's just a change to let people be more creative. Oh I yeah, think. Corvo. Um, these things kind of make sense, but Corvos will always be Corvos. Um, yeah. I I know a couple of people who who are good with them, but for the general population, I would say stay away. Mm -hmm. The spread of single shot shotguns will no longer be random; they'll be preset. Now, what do yeah, you say this about this? This is interesting. Oh, very yes. interesting. <laughs> I tested it already on mm -hmm. the test server, and uh, oh. well, first of all, it works. It is not random anymore. So now you have those very defined spread patterns. Hmm. Each gun have a different one. Uh, the junk ball looks more like a square. Uh -huh. The Fafnir more an oval, and the Nidhogs like a horizontal line or something like That's that. That's what they mean. So they yeah, mean it's it actually a shape that the bullets fall into instead yep. of instead of like a dissolved splat exactly uh if you guys watch my video where i t tested the junk balls i came yep. up with the spread pattern so i showed that that is completely random following a, a gaussian distribution it yep. worked but right now it's it's uh, deterministic the spread pattern well wow. it is interesting i think it allows some more reliability, you know, when you're firing. Because so, you always have the same damage if you shoot the same distance, so which it's, is interesting. Hmm. So essentially, it's more accurate? No, actually, the, if, if you compare the junk bow, uh, it, it's, in my opinion, it's a solid nerf hmm. for the junk bow. Okay. It is way more, sp uh, the, the spread pattern is way larger now. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of a nerf it then. It is definitely a nerf for the junk bow. For the Fafnir and the Nidhogg, I'm not completely sure yet. I have to, I would I will have to run more tests. That is really interesting. So that meta might be, I mean, it's not bad because that was getting a little bit too much. The the Fafnir yeah, junk bows were way too much, just in the Echo Cab. So it could mm. use a hit. Maybe it might make it less enjoyable though for some players. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, auto cannons explosion radius. Now, explosion radius is what auto cannons do, so that's fine. But they still, it's not. It doesn't help the problem of them being autocannons. I might disagree on this one. Yeah. yeah, I just tested them on the test server. It is a lot of. It, it is a huge difference. Oh, I just noticed it's not. It's not rapiers. It's the epics and the legendary. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. And it's not a small buff on and explosion radio. It's probably like 40, 30 percent, I guess. No. I didn't do the math hmm. yet. But uh, I did some testing, and, it, and it's not like uh, a small buff right there. All right, so here's my question, though. So explosion radius is good for a lot of situations, but one thing that messes up accuracy is if you're shooting, for example, a weapon on the top of a cab, your autocannon bullet will explode before it reaches the weapon. It explodes mm -hmm. if there's anything in, in the way. So a higher explosion radius, I wonder if that means that you are... It's less or more oh, the, accurate. It is the same, I guess. I mean, it's not like the bullet got bigger. The model, the detection pattern for the bullet is mm -hmm. the same, apparently. Mm -hmm. But after the bullet hits a target, the blast radius is greatly increased on this new update. But I wonder if that means that it'll blast at a shorter range. No, I don't think. I, I, in my opinion, that would be great to deal in with uh, compact armor, okay. honestly. Well, whirlwinds, if there are three of them, is actually not too bad anyway. So that's too, that's pretty yeah. okay. And cyclone, if it's used well, can be pretty good. So that'll be interesting. So reaper minigun, this is huge. Durability will increase. Here they come. They're coming back. Yeah, and that's not a small buff either. Right force, now force it something. have a 450, and it used to have 380. Damn, so, that's huge. Twenty yeah, percent. That's a pretty. That's pretty huge. That is a big difference. It's not a fat man, but it's still a very big difference. And I think we'll see yeah. more reapers from now on. The Spark Three. So the time required for applying maximum negative effect will increase. So I think essentially they're not killing the Spark in general, but they are definitely hitting the Spark harvesters, which. Um, yeah. In one case is fine because that was a bit too much. On the other hand, it has killed my melee main in the game, which definitely made the fun aspect go way the hell down. The Harvester rework was already pretty bad enough for me to stop using Spark Harvester. And now this really just directly for them kicks them in the butt. Well, I think, again, from what I tested, this is mostly affect uh, low power score matches because okay. I think there's where they're aiming for. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't think that would be a big difference for high power scores since the builds are already very slow, you know. Yeah, and the spark is still really good being able to shoot multiple targets, being able to shoot weapons out of the air. That's still pretty huge. I think yeah. it, but directly, if you have a spark harvester, you want to slow down your enemies. That way you don't need boosters. So typhoons, I don't really care about personally, but I guess in clan wars, if everyone has a typhoon, yeah. it's not going <laughs> to... I'm Everyone gonna, has a typhoon. Actually. So essentially, you're not going to have someone just stand still while people are shooting them because they're debuffed. The thing is, right now in Clone Wars, if you're, the enemy team have two builds with two typhoons each, yeah. uh, they can effectively lock down a target indefinitely. Like yeah, so for I'll, as long as they want. I'll never see that happen, but I'm glad for you, Clone Wars guys, that that's one thing <laughs> yeah. to deal with. Now, Scorpion is a little bit more viable, and I always feel kind of weird about these things because they're relics. And I feel like on one hand, these things are so freaking hard to get and so it costs so much out of the pocket money. I mean, hundreds of dollars if you want to just outright buy mm -hmm. it. It should be freaking amazingly OP because of that. On the other hand, having that kind of OP weapon for some people like that who spend money or are promo accounts really hurts everyone else, the mass, vast majority. So I really have a love-hate relationship with these relics. Actually, more of a hate-hate relationship with these relics. But Scorpion was hit too hard with its inaccuracy when driving. Now I guess we'll have more hover scorpions. Probably. Yep. Now yeah, um, I never used the scorpion, so I have no idea. So Incinerator and Mandrake, they definitely had to fix what they broke with that sighting, but it looks like now you adjust the sight sensitivity. I mean, does that mean yeah. like, a, is that your settings or is that as you're playing the game? Basically, now you have uh, two independent uh, options, one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis, so you can set up different sensibil sensitivities. I want the game to just work for me. I'd rather not just do the work and have to go in here and play with <laughs> play with these freaking just make it work <laughs> you know? yeah, don't make me do the work game you you're the game you developers you do it uh porcupine will no longer be destroyed by spark what was that the spark would destroy the barrel or the actual porcupine the barrel because uh as now on the live server if someone starts sparking you with a porcupine mm -hmm. uh there's no way you can shoot the spark will destroy the barrel immediately immediately so you can't gotcha bring it back kill the porks <laughs> kill the porks bring it back don't do this no please <laughs> all right so fenders looks really interesting they want to rework the parameters of fenders so we'll actually use our fenders and kind of make more cool looking vehicles with fenders Instead of mm -hmm. just kind of throwing them on kind of as an afterthought. So that's kind of cool. Now here's what I was thinking though about this decor thing. I would recommend this. So have two kinds of decor items. One kind are your stupid stuff like your pipes and your ice cream cone and your horns and all this other stuff that I just you put on there for fun, right? Just for fun, nothing else. And don't even increase the PS because they're just for fun, right? They're not armor they're anymore, so there's nothing. The other one is there are a lot of fenders and other kinds of things that are more structural. I don't know. I feel like these should not really, these should be more like an armor class. I know we're talking about spaced armor, blah, 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 but there's always going to be spaced armor. You just replace the decor with an actual spaced armor thing. Yeah, that, that, that'll be a good change, I guess. All right, so interface. They want to manually lock parts in storage. So what, you can't sell it accidentally? Actually, I, I really don't see the why yeah. of this change. I don't either, really. I mean, so <laughs> you can hide your own profile and select those. Oh, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is a good change, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, for people like us, we're, we're getting constant friend requests, and then we add them, and mm -hmm. we forget who it is, and they're there for decades, and maybe. But in general, eh, I, don't, I think it's... Here's something else. So additional filters to the exhibition stuff. Here's what I want in exhibition. It's still not here. Filter by author. Mm. Why, do, yeah, why do we need so much more of this can build blah 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 it's already good enough mm. I don't know so there is a test server I guess you can do anyone can do now that's kind of cool mm -hmm. and that is the bottom of the page we have made it cold fire we did it <laughs> So I cannot wait to find your testing videos which are coming up and you guys will see me in the Colosseus as they call it <laughs> Oh, nice. Colosseus, not Colosseum. Colosseus, because uh, Google Translate, that's why. All right, Cold Fire, that is it for me. All right, goodbye, guys. All right, yeah. we'll see you guys later. Ciao, enjoy this new patch. Don't drop that dirk, dirk, eh, don't drop that dirk,